Hello everyone, welcome to Cyberbytes. In today's tutorial, we will have a look at the tool Hackrawler, which is a website crawler written in Golang. Hackrawler is written by Luke Stephens. A big thank you for this tool. This is the GitHub page for this tool and this is the profile page of Luke Stephens. So you can certainly check out other tools created by him also. It is really, really interesting and nice. Normally, when we are performing a web application assessment or a bug bounty program in which you are enrolled, we need to thoroughly gather information about our target and try to gather as much as endpoints as we can find it. It could be done via forced browsing or through crawling the target application page by page and finding out any hidden endpoints that can be of our interest. Now these interesting assets and or endpoints can be found directly on the links of the page or it could be hidden in, in the you can say in JavaScripts, in forms, in other subdomains that it could be pulling, it could be API endpoints also. So to discover these, we can either browse the application manually and use interception proxies like OWASP SAP or Burp Suite and populate the site tree to discover the assets or endpoints. However, this can be time consuming and when we want to automate this part, then this technique could be counterproductive. To make our task easier, we will be using the tool Hackrawler. The plus point of using this tool is that you can speed up your application spidering and also you can pipeline the output from this tool to other tools or, the, or vice versa, whichever is suiting your scenario. Today we will explore some options that you can use to leverage the power of Hackrawler in your bug bounty or pen test engagements. But before that, a quick disclaimer. This channel does not promote or promotion any illegal activities. All content provided by this channel is meant only for educational purpose only. For our demonstration purpose, we will be using the public bug bounty program and make sure that you too follow the rules of engagement and never use tools against any web application without the permission of owners. For our demonstration purpose, we have used the Red Bull's public vulnerability disclosure program which is hosted on integrity.com. So for sake of demonstration, we will be using this one. I have opened redbull.com and as you can see from the sitemap window of the interception proxy that is Bob Suite here, that behind the scenes there are multiple URL links, subdomains and mixed resources list that make up this page that we are seeing currently. So here you can see that multiple resources from where it is fetching and showing us the web page on our left. So as I browse this website, it will be populating the site tree here on the right. And this is what a hack crawler will do for us. As we switch to hack crawler and we see we can do this all on command line without actually browsing the website. So for installation of Hackrawler, there are multiple ways in which you can install Hackrawler in your system. One is the normal installation. So you need to first install Go and then uh, run the command to download and compile Hackrawler. So this is the thing. So uh, on my current Linux install, Kali Linux installation, I have preferred this method. So I will be using this method for the demonstration for the rest of the video. If you want to install via Docker, that is also available for you. You can do that also. And even if you want to directly install and give the command on the Kali Linux, you can directly do that also. All the methods are working. So this was basically the one that I found it first and ran it first. So this is the one I am preferring. So you can install any of the methods and your hacker will be good to go and ready to run. So let us now switch to our demonstration part where I will be showing you the multiple methods in which you can run Hackrawler for our bug bounty program that we have mentioned earlier for the redbull.com. So back to our terminal. Now let us go to the path where our Hackrawler is installed. So we'll just cd into go and bin and here is our Hackrawler. So I have also created a file where I will be putting my target URLs. So that is one test URL.txt and one is our executable hack roller that is sitting in the go bin folder. Let us first with, run with the help file for our tool and let us have a look at the options that are available. So options are limited, but I must say that these are essential options that will be helpful to you. One would be uh, the depth to crawl. So that is very, very useful. So at what depth you need to crawl for the uh, websites and the corresponding uh, URLs or the uh, JavaScript files that are containing the URL that you can pull out. 
So the default is two here. You can change that according to your requirement. So here we'll be keeping it very, very straightforward because so what I observed during my testing phase for our target that is redbull.com that after a certain amount of requests that are fired with any tool or automated scanners, it is blocking our request. So we need to be very, very cautious with the type of request that we are sending. So you can try it on other targets as well, but please do honor their rate limiting options also. So here, apart from the depth to crawl here, which is default to two, we will be using the default only. We will not be going too much. So you can increase the number here to get maximum results. Next is disabling the following HTTP redirect. So when this will be useful is, when we want to say, for example, say I am putting redbull.com and it is redirecting me to www.redbull.com, something like that. If you are disabling this, if you are specifically putting this switch, then it can happen that if you are explicitly putting redbull.com and it is redirecting to red, www.redbull.com, then it might fail. It will just stop. Next is very important here that I will be showing you is the h minus h option that we need to pass a string so there might be situations where you need to you can say spider for authenticated pages that means the internal pages of the application for uh, you can say uh, more uh, discovery of as, uh, endpoints and assets here we need to append some cookies so i will be appending a cookie also so first scan i will be showing you that will be related to uh, a simple plain uh, scan of a web page that is a target that we are giving and next we'll be going towards the cookie, uh, inserting a cookie and then going ahead with the internal scanning of the pages. So that is very important. So this option is very, very useful. Next is if we want to disable TLS verification, then also it is possible by passing the insecure flag. In case we want to have an output in JSON format only, we can use this option uh, JSON. In case we want to view the traffic, how it is going, then we can put the option of proxy. And this is the format in which we can put the proxy and next is size so what page size do you want to limit so you can use that but we, we are not using it for our demonstration sakes next is very important include subdomains it will also include subdomains for crawling so, uh, the more depth you keep it might get into that and it will also be able to crawl for subdomains also and number of threads to utilize so default is eight it is good for us no issue and the timeout that you want to crawl the pages to a maximum time up to what time you need to crawl and then basically it will just give up and minus u is also very important for us that is show only unique urls we do not want a repetition of the url patterns so this is also useful to get us a set of unique urls so now let us move on and demonstrate you with the tool hack crawler and the options that we discussed just now so let us begin with a quick test on how actually we can run hack crawler so we'll just try out with google.com and see so we will be starting with a single url so we'll be using like echo and yeah like this uh, i will just make a small change here so that will be google.com and i will be then piping out it to hack crawler and i am telling depth to be four but i do not want four i will just say show the sources from where this option so that actually I missed. So this is the source of URL where from where it was found. So was it it was this URL found from href or was it from it it was found from the any form the script etc. So this is the minus s option and we will be also including the subdomain. So it is a very very quick smoke test you might say. We will just run this in this way and we get the output like see. Okay, so like this we got our output. So this is one example where we can actually run. So now let us quickly go to our redbull.com and try to run uh, different options that are available to us so for that once again let us do one thing open this up so for our you can say it, it will be like a cheat sheet for us let us begin with our uh, this one test url.txt so let us begin with this text file let me just open it on nano okay so this is the https redbull.com so the option that we uh, saw just now i'll just demonstrate it to you so here in the url what we have put is https colon forward slash forward slash redbull.com okay let me save this and let me just run it for you so here we will run our tool with this minus dr option let us do that so get test url.txt and then a crawler and we'll be using I'll just remove this and we'll be using the dr option so first we'll start with the dr option and see if our 
disable of HTTP redirect will be uh, will be working or not and we'll see the result so let me just yeah like this okay let us see okay so we did not get any result because the redirection like this actually I would like to show you a terminal like this so like a redirection from like HTTPS which actually goes like this too was not allowed that is why our scan got failed so we need to make changes and proceed ahead so like this we will just start with the this open our and we'll make the changes again so dub 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 like so and we'll just save this file and now let us run this with our options so let us uh, have a look at the options we'll just use all the options in one go so like this cat test url.txt and then pip2 hack crawler and we will be using we will not disable this thing we will be using depth if we want we can say we want depth 2 or 3 let us say for example i want 3 and next option that i can use is like i would like to see the source just remove this source then we'll uh, have a look at uh, subdomains so we'll just use the subs option we will be just also having our focus on unique urls so we'll only have a look at the unique urls so these are the basic options that you can run and most of these options are enough for us for our testing so like this and now you can just run this tool fine so we got it so it is trying to fetch unique urls so that is why it is uh, pausing a bit and you can see here it is from where it is getting so it is getting from href or if we just move down we might also see from scripts also see like this from scripts also it is fetching so from scripts basically there are script resources that you can see like this and also there is a subdomain that is hosting the images that is the img.redbull.com so that is image uh, next if i may show you uh, is related to no not instagram okay okay img img there will be other subdomains if at all they are pull, getting pulled so it could be img there could be policies.redbull.com okay so this in this way we can get the multiple subdomains now if you want you can actually pipe it out to the uh, standard out, uh, standard output to the file and you use it for further processing if you do not want to have uh, like say these sources then actually you can make a small change in the scripts script i mean i mean so you can have a small change in the script in case you do not want to have the sources that you want to list out so you can do like this also so this is also possible you can run in this manner also next up we can try to uh, you might say let us do one thing let us try to uh, get authenticated scans that means after i log into redbull.com what are the internal urls that that i can fetch so let me just switch to my uh, uh, you can say browser all right so let me just go to redbull.com okay let me just log in okay so here is my login page okay so i will log in with my google account by the meantime i'll just pause the video all right so we have logged into our account so here is my account and i will just open my account page from here so i'll just go here so here is one page that is getting opened for me so here is my account page and i need to first get my cookie value which is identifying me as the account owner of this page so i need to gather urls that are found on this page and the other pages that are there so that is for we need we need to be having two things one thing that we need to have is our account page so this is our slash account part that we need to get into and after that we need to have a cookie now either you can get a cookie uh, value from this inspect element part or you can actually use burp suite to do the same for you i will be using burp and getting the cookie value i will just i will just show you how am i getting so i will just open my burp here so here is the cookie that we we actually need to capture and just copy this cookie value and yeah this one and just copy it now we'll be just adding it to our hack crawler tool with the minus d flag so let me switch there so here we are so let me just clear it out okay so this is how we will be using so we need to first make changes in our file that is 
not here so we'll be just making the changes to our test url.txt and we're just adding one slash account like this and then we will we will just draw x and now we will be putting up our so yeah using all these options we'll be using the depth of minus four and then pasting the cookie inside double quotes let us now run this scan and see what results do we get so you can see here that the from the script source it is it is fetching the urls account.redbull.com and then the different parts and this is basically a javascript file so in that you might find something that could be of your interest and that is also included in the scope of your testing or the bug bounty engagement that you are in so this is one way in which you can find endpoints or assets but still this is not i can say that this is the exhaustive method this is one of the quick method that you can use or employ other methods i might say that are available with the burp spider also that can also be used and this is one the one that also can be used so each and every tool have their own way in which they will be giving you the results so in this way you can find the U, uh, urls that can be of use to you and make sure that even if you find some urls it should be under the scope of your testing and make sure you honor those scopes and try test them accordingly only so this was a very very short tutorial for the tool hack crawler and i thought that this tool will be useful to you in your pen test or bug bounty engagement so please do consider using this tool and this will also help you to get more visibility into your pen test engagements or bug bounty engagements that you are into so that was it from my side and i will be uploading more videos in the coming days so more videos are in the pipeline so if you like my work then please do consider subscribing to my channel and please do comment on what contents you like i am already considering the comments that are coming to me and also i am making sure that whatever content i create is specifically for educational purposes and for and it is not violating any community guidelines so i am making sure about that so with this we will be meeting soon so take care and goodbye everyone